So how about this one? A federal investigation becoming a matter of national security when it exposes a problem with a student visa program. The feds nabbing 21 people for trying to enroll foreign nationals at this very lovely fake university that you see on the website here. Agents setting up a bogus website for a phony university of northern New Jersey, which I'm sure, if it existed, would be a prestigious institution. The defendants are charged with scheming to exploit our country's immigration laws. Officials say they unlawfully obtained fraudulent visas by conspiring with more than 1,000 foreign nationals from 26 different countries. The fact that they did not attend school, uh, the fact that they had no work done that is associated with college work, uh, to me makes clear um, their uh, involvement. Their goal was to exploit the visa system by entering or remaining in the United States under false pretenses. It's kind of confusing, isn't it? Joining me now is David Bruno, a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Also, John Spilbor, a defense attorney and former prosecutor. Good to see you both. Good so, to see you. The, Good to see you, uh, David, let me start with you. The, the feds set this up, so it's a sting operation. And what were they trying to? Who were they trying to ensnare? And how did it happen? Well, oh, oh, how overt operations have changed, right? This is very creative on behalf of the federal, uh, the FBI, and Attorney uh, Fishman. So, what they're they're trying to influence and trying to get people that are going to pay to get visas and that's what they did and it resulted in 21 individuals being arrested today and charged with some very serious crimes. Donna, what, what's your take? Not only am I not impressed, I'm actually mad at the feds and here's why. Three-year investigation, 21 measly people they bust. Okay, congratulations, that's a good start. I'm not going to roll out the parade for that. But what about the almost 1,100 fake students that they're not going to arrest? They're going to send them back to wherever they came from. And as we all know, Martha, it's very easy to get back in this country once you're deported. We've had people who've been in here five times killing our American citizens. So what good is that going to do us? If you're going to focus on the 21 and let the 1,100 go, what are we doing? Yeah, so, so you feel like... Um and Dave, we'll get your thoughts on this, that, that it's, it's sort of a lot of sort of machinations to try to encircle all of these people mm -hmm. that really didn't give them much fruit. Sure. I mean, they're, they're charging and they're prosecuting the 21 individuals that were really involved in eliciting these students here. Right, so they have to and make they, a decision. And who were they, you know, who do they think they were working on behalf of? Employers? I mean, what did they think they were doing? Well, sure, that's a good point. And it goes, it goes to resources, how the federal government is going to use their resources. And to prosecute those thousand, thousand plus students is going to take a tremendous amount of court time and the government's time. So I think what the government has said is they're going to file immigration uh, actions, deport these individuals, and prosecute the 21 that were the main participants. You know, the scheme. Big deal. Obviously, we have a huge hole in this wall that hasn't been built yet because I think to take 1,100 students who you now know, Martha, the Fed said to them uh, in, in the fake sting, there are no classes, there are no teachers, yeah. there's no degree, there's no nothing. And they signed up and said, great, where do I pay? Yeah. So and, they and, knew I mean, to It tells well you a lot about how, you know, you talk about a wall, right. but this is how most people get into the country, right? Right. And what are they the doing point? here if they're not honestly going to school? ISIS, what are they doing? Yeah, football, maybe? Maybe they're playing I football for the University of Northern New Jersey? It just further highlights the security risk in our immigration Definitely. process. And again, something has to be done. And this is a first step that the government has taken here. Right. It's the District of New Jersey is the prosecuting agency. So when they quiz these people, they want to say, like, who's your mascot? Right. Tell me the details. <laughs> what, what'd you take? Right. How was your History 101 class? They would fail that. Unbelievable. All yeah. right. Thanks, you guys. Good Thank to see you, you both. Good to see you, Martha. So we take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.